Hello guys, this is the Inside Man from Techran and today we'll be doing something different. Today, we'll be comparing these two smartphones from the inside. We'll be taking out their components and comparing them side by side and help you decide which of these two devices is best for you. This is the Infinix Note 8 and Techno Power Inside Comparison. The Infinix Note 8 costs approximately $238 while the Techno Power costs about $210. These two smartphones use the MediaTek Helio G80 chip and by the way, I already have a teardown video for both devices so if you haven't seen it, please I'll leave the link in the description below, go check it out Plus, if this is your first time of being in this channel or watching our video I would appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel and please turn on post notifications Alright, so these two devices, one from Infinix, the other from Techno, looks pretty similar from the inside. The arrangement of the components so far looks pretty similar. The top motherboard, the battery, and then the bottom motherboard. But what are the differences and why should you choose one against the other? For starters, the Infinix Note 8 comes with a dual speaker. It has a button speaker, a main button speaker, as you can see that is the frame here. But then the Techno Pover does not have a button speaker. The Techno Pover only makes use of one speaker as we've seen in our teardown video. Now, this means that the Infinite Note will give you better sound quality compared to when you get the Techno Pover. I think that is one of the reasons why you should spend the extra money to buy the Infinix Note 8. But it goes beyond that. There are still other features that the Infinix Note 8 has that the Techno Pover is kind of a little behind. For example, the USB Type C port. The Infinix Note 8 comes with the USB Type C port, while the Techno Pover comes with a standard USB port. Wow. Okay. So we are starting we are starting to see the reason for the price differences and so far it's been nice but there is even more. If you are the kind of guy that prefer the side mounted fingerprint then you might just want to get the Infinix Note 8. But if you are the kind of guy that likes the rear mounted fingerprint then the Techno Pover is for you. But we are going to call this one draw because side mounted, rear mounted, the most important thing is that the phone is secure so long the fingerprint gets the job done it's fine so if you are going to buy a device based on the fingerprint sensor I think you can just go for either one then we we'll get to the battery segment and this is where the Techno Pover definitely has an edge the Techno Pover comes with a 6000 mAh battery while the Infinix Note 8 has 5200 mAh battery. Placing these two batteries side by side, you zoom just you see that the battery of the Techno Pover is way bigger. And we know what bigger battery means. Bigger battery means using the phone for a longer time. So if you are the type that would like to use your phone for a longer time, then you should go for the Techno Pover. At this point, we are going to make this course two to one. Infinite leading to Techno having one. But the makeup of these two smartphones looks pretty similar. Not pretty similar, they are similar. Ribbon cables running from bottom to top is okay. Then the network cable from the side, same thing. Then we will have the arrangement of the cameras, of the rear cameras looking the same, but the, mod, the bottom board is quite different. The bottom board of the Infinix Note 8 looks more better than the one of the Techno Pover. You can see the one from the Techno Pover using wires for the vibrator model which is different from the one of the vibrator model that is separately tucked in from the Infinix Note 8. So that is a plus for the Infinix Note 8. If you are thinking about repairability in terms of when the component gets damaged, the Infinix Note 8 definitely is your phone from the bottom board. Then from the rear cameras, you can see the cameras are placed the same, but then the Infinix Note 8 has a 64 megapixel quad rear camera. Now, if you are going for camera, the Infinix Note 8 is your device. It will give you better 
camera uh, photo qualities then it also gives you more camera features like steady videoing and it also has a dual selfie camera which is better than the 8 megapixel selfie camera with that is available in the techno power right so the techno power is not your camera smartphone the infinite state is but then the techno power and the infinite they share something the mirror kilo g80 chip which is a gaming chipset and from what we can see they both have good cooling system there is enough paste there is enough copper tipping even the arrangement looks very similar also so if you are going for either one in terms of gaming you can buy either of these phones all right so from the comparison so far what we've seen is that the infinite note 8 has better speaker usb type c ports better camera why the techno over has better battery and is good for gaming all right so if you are going to make a purchase based on what you use phone for if you are the camera type the infamous note 8 is your device but then if you are the game type the techno power is preferable this is not to say that the tech that the infamous note 8 cannot play games it can because it is the same shift said but the techno power is built for gaming so that is it guys for this video if you like it give the video a thumbs up and also, if you have any question, suggestion, or video you want us to do an inside comparison of, leave your comment in the description below, in the comment section below. Rather. This is the Inside Man, and I'm signing out of TechRam. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.